Yeah, hi everyone. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to create and work with TMAP component inside the Thailand Open Studio. So, in the earlier videos, we have already discussed how to create the schema with any other external data sets. So, if you haven't checked the video, so please do it from the suggested uh, section on the top. So, I am going to use the same schema that we have already created and I am going to drop it on the workspace and I am going to select the T file input component for the same and now search for the TMAP component here. So, if you search TMAP, so this TMAP component is a very powerful component that we have which can be used for transformation, doing the joins, filtering out the records and many more. Now after taking the TMAP component, we have to establish the connection between this regex data component and this TMAP. So, right click, click on row and select main and drop the connection to this TMAP component. So, as we have made the connection, so double click on that TMAP and it will pop up a new window. So, this window basically consists of two things, one is the left hand side and the right hand side. So, left hand side is basically the input data for the input component and the right hand side is for the output. So, for this output component you have to click on plus and you need to give a name and this name will be the part of the TMAP component and it will generate an output by that particular name that you are giving and click on ok. Now, as you have done that, now the main thing is we have to generate the expressions. After we have created this output, so now we will be talking about how to create the expressions in the output part. So, for that if you see the first column that we have is customer id, so we have selected that and if you just drag this one and drop it on the output. So, you see there is a single yellow line that has been created. So, that means we have created the expression. So, in the similar way if you wanted to create the expressions for multiple columns. So, let us say if you wanted to take the column from the first name to this town city column. So, what do you do? So, you use this town city and when you click on town city. So, you try to use the shift and left click and drop all the columns all together on this output. So, as you see I have selected the column and I will be dropping it in the final output. So, I have dropped the final output. So, you see in the output part I have got multiple columns. Now, click on OK and if you wanted to see the output, so you can use a component called T log row which will help you to get the data on the console. So, make a connection with the T log row by right click here, select the tabular format and whenever you are going to run the job. So, you will get the data in a tabular format in form of a row and column and if you see you will get only those record which you have got it in this TMAP expression. So, you see we got the same columns here. Now, as you see you have got the data if you wanted to more do the more manipulations with the data. So, you can do it with TMAP. So, if you see like right now you have taken the first name and last name column into two different columns. So, if you wanted to combine this first name and last name column into a single column for example, full name. So, I click on the plus at the bottom, I given a new name as full name and what I am going to do, I am going to add on this first name and last name column together. So, for that you need to select the uh, both the columns here. So, just take go in the input section and select the first name and last name column and if you select both the columns together and if you are trying to drop it on this full name column. So, you will find it out an option like the data that you are going to drag. So, it is in a append mode. So, means both the columns will be taken in a single field itself. So, you can just drop it and once you drop it, so you will see both the columns we find out here. So, as you know Talent Open Studio is been designed over the Java programming language. So, if you wanted to concatenate the, concatenate the two columns, so you can use a plus sign. So, if you just click on this edit icon, so you can see a plus icon and if you say the data will be concatenated. So, click on OK and just run the job again and you will find out the different output. So, if you are uh, wanted to get the output, so make sure in the T log row you click on sync columns because might be the metadata or you can say the things that you have created might be changed and run the job again. So, if you run the job again and if you scroll it down and to the right, you will find out there is a column that we have created that is with the name as full name. So, 
we have created it in the second or third place so just check it in the second or third place you find it out at the first name and the last name was jack and brown so in the full name column they have been combined as jack brown all together so in this way we have done a small manipulations with the data and we got the output so in the same case if you go in team app and team app and if you wanted to do more mathematical operation or arithmetic calculus so you see these three dots so these three dots basically represent expression builder so you can click on this expression builder a new pop up will be open and on the on those pop up window you can do lot of things so if you see there are user defined methods there are some mathematical methods there are numerical functions there are uh, string method there are talent date functions so it's n number of things that are present it's up to you how you wanted to use it and how you wanted to execute so as we move ahead we will just keep talking about all this thing later on so we are going to delete some unnecessary columns for now and i have deleted that by using this cross icon and i am going to add a new column that is a address so i just given a name as address and the data type is the same string data type so if you see at the data so there are a lot of places if you see the country column is missing and if you see at those places there are two semicolons that are present so that means they are talking about the address sorry the co uh, country columns are missing so we need to write down a logic so that in case the country co uh, sorry country column is absent so we need to perform some operation so what i do i select this country column and i am going to drop it to the output so select it and drag it on the final output on the column that you have created on address now click on this expression builder and now as i know like this country column is going to consist of some numeric sorry it consists of some string data and we need to compare like whether this country column is present with something or not so i am going to compare this country column with a empty string so if it is a empty string so that means there is no data which is present so i am going to use the double quotes to represent the empty string and i am going to apply a equals method for the same so i apply a equal and i say do we have the same value to the row 1 dot country so if this scenario is true okay i need to execute some output so this execution will be done using something called as a ternary operator so ternary operator we know it's a sort of a alternative of if condition so how what is the basic syntax for writing down the ternary operator so we write down the condition so if the condition is going to be evaluated as true so we put a question mark so if the condition is true we are going to write down the statement after that otherwise if the statement are going to be false okay or the condition is going to be false so we execute the false statement and that we write down after the colon okay so these square brackets are just for the representation fine the same logic we are going to implement with the ternary operator here so we say if the blank string is equals to the row 1 dot country means if we find out the country is going to be empty so what we are going to do we are we are going to perform some of the operation and what type of operation i put a question mark and i am going to concatenate some things or something so what i am writing down so i am saying like no data is present so if the condition is true i am saying there is no data which is present otherwise if uh, the row 1 dot country means if it is not empty i am going to say this is a country column fine so in this way you can check out for this country column whether it is correct or not so i am going to add the country post code or whatever columns i like so if the condition is false means if you have a data of country column i am going to add it to country and post code all together in a single column and otherwise if the condition is true means the data in the country column is not present i am going to say no data so just check it out whether we got the perfect logic or not so in the t log row again please make sure to click on sync column so that we can have the same columns here and now if you are going to execute you see in the second uh, address to column so we were not having any output so if you run it so you see you get no data here so no data means the address to column was not having anything it was blank so if it is blank so through the t map whatever logic we have implemented we got no data so rather than no data we can try to implement any other thing any other logic whatever we like okay it's up to you how you wanted to execute 
and I have just chosen this country column just to make sure like if you see the last column and the second row if you see there is nothing no data is present so if there is in a country column there was no data so in the address column we got no data here okay so this is a verified condition so like uh, if the data is not present so we get no data otherwise we combine the country and the postcode all together so that's it for today's session and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video so kindly just like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more update on talent open studio for beginners so if you want any particular section like to be covered in talent please try to mention it in a comment and hopefully you have enjoyed the video have a great day enjoy and keep sharing